let's see. I think uh, let's create another field under Doctor that's not. Um, create some custom fields under patient. See, we don't have any custom fields under patient and doctor. Let's create a new one. Let's say we want to um, um, track what um, sickness the patient has. So let's go ahead and make that, um, let's not make that a text field. Let's make it a pick list so it's kind of limited. We have a certain things that we address. Let's make that a pick list. And let's call that um, illness. Um, that's the label. It's going to put the name here. Remember, this is kind of the programming API name. And then the field label is what we see um, as a user in the user interface. The um, values that you want to have in the pick list are here, separated by um, carriage returns. When you push enter, each new line is going to be a new value. Um, so let's say, um, wow, what are some illnesses? Um, um, yeah. Diabetes, uh, cancer, nothing too light, huh? Um, and a couple of this, I don't know. Uh, flu, cold, um, other. Beautiful, nice and descriptive. We can put a description in here of the field um, or some help text, for instance, if um, you wanted to kind of describe. Let's say you had a, uh, a field where you had a list of acronyms. Maybe you wanted to type out here, you know, um, CNS, or what's that one? Um, I don't know, equals cardiopulmonary disease. And you can kind of, you know, have an explanation so that when they're in making a record, here, um, next to the field, there'd be a little help text, and you'd be able to hover over that, and it tells you kind of some explanation for help. This says sort values alphabetically, not in the order entered. Um, let's go ahead and do that. See, we sort it this way, but uh, when we display it, um, and that's going to work out. We'd kind of want other on the bottom, so you may not want to do that, but other starts with O, and uh, that just happens to be last. And then you can use the first value as the default value, or by default, if you don't check that, Sandy? the default's going to be none, um, and we want the default to be none. So, just click next, and this next page here, we're going to set the uh, field level security. So this is who gets to see um, who gets to see this. And you can see by default partner user, it's not visible. I guess that makes sense if we have um, somebody else with the Salesforce account that's going to work inside of it. We may not want them to see sensitive information of the patient. So let's go ahead and make that um, not visible to them. And then um, we'll create uh, we'll create some profiles later that are specific to this app. So right now we'll make it um, we won't make it read only for anybody. And next. And this last one is where you get to add that field we just created to the layout of the patient page or not. And we will. And we'll save. And we won't make a new one in this object, but we'll go to the doctor object now and make a custom field in doctor. We'll call it um, specialties. Okay. So let's click in here on objects and go to the doctor object doctor and you can see we have no custom field yet let's create a new one so I mean a patient can have more than one illness um, but um, maybe they're only being treated for one thing at a time um, we could have made illness a multi-pick list but um, let's go ahead and make this field uh, this is going to be like the doctor's specialty, so maybe they can have more than one specialty. Let's make a, a multi-select pick list from this. Let's click next, and we're going to name it. We'll call this um, specialties, and that can be singular. Number of visible lines, let's make that four. And um, what are the specialties? 
um, let's see, cardiovascular oncology, um, immunology. I'm just trying to think what we had. We had uh, diabetes, um, cancer, flu, cold, other um, uh, diabetes. What is that? Hormonal. Maybe we'll have a. Um, uh, what's a doctor that deals with hormones? A uh, endocrinologist, endocrinology, and other. That's good for now. And we are um, not going to sort this alphabetically. We're not going to have a default here because we obviously don't want to set that a doctor has a specialty when they don't. No help text, no description here. And um, let's just keep the same defaults. And let's put it on the doctor layout. So now, let's go into those records. So let's go into Jane Patient. Go into Jane Patient. What happened there? I don't know. Sorry about that. Um, connection. Go to doctors here and patients here. So we're going to go into Barber Doctor and Jane Patient. So for Barber Doctor, see how we have the specialties field here? Let's double click that. And you can see these are the ones that have chosen. No specialties chosen yet. Let's say uh, Barber Doctor specializes in immunology and endocrinology. You can select more than one by dragging, clicking and dragging or you can hold down control or uh, on a Mac um, command and clicking. Let's move those over and click OK. All right, and save. Perfect, now she's got two specialties. Let's flip over to Jane Patient and say her illness is um, diabetes. Save. And now let's go to uh, Joe Patient and Bob Doctor. So for Joe patient, let's say Joe has cancer, and so obviously um, if we're going to connect, well, Joe's already connected to Bob Doctor in the connection, so for his benefit, let's say uh, if he's got cancer, he'll hopefully want to see an oncologist, and let's save here. Let's make sure to save the patient. Once you change this, it's not going to save until you click save. That's um, something users... Uh, if they aren't made aware of, will tend to um, change information and then leave the page and uh, you get a problem of, oh, I changed that person's address and it didn't save it. Uh, it's because we didn't click save. So now we've got this set up here. We made some custom fields, uh, pick list, multi-pick list, and uh, in our next video we will um, um, show you a couple more of the custom field types and um, take you further and start using some of those in reports and queries. Alright, see you next video.